When I was a kid, I impatiently waited for every new episode of the Cosmos television series. In one of them, Carl Sagan, the presenter, said something that was going to be with me forever. It was a simple, short, easy to hear sentence. We are made of star stuff. Our sun is a second or third generation star formed by the remains of gas and dust from other stars that have already died. All that surround us, animals, the air we breathe, the water we drink, is composed of atoms that were created inside the stars. This sentence invites us to think that life on Earth is not an isolated phenomenon, but a manifestation of natural order. We are another part of the cosmos. But the sentence could be incomplete. We are made of star stuff, but what if stars are still taking care of us? How could they do it? Is there something that keeps us tied to them? To search for answers, I've come to this astronomical observatory at the Argentinian Pampa. It's the Pierre Auger Observatory in the city of Malargue. Here begins a long journey. I want to discover a natural phenomenon hidden to our eyes. The cosmic radiation. An exciting world where astronomy meets particle physics and biology. In the cosmic radiation, I'm looking for that link between life and the most distant stars. Perhaps through this path I can complete the sentence I heard when I was a child. Perhaps stars bring more than just the matter that we are made of. <laughs> 